Hello guys! Many of you were asking how to make a mini portable speaker for a tablet, laptop or cell phone. But first, in today's video I'll show you how to make the simplest sound amplifier. The build is not too hard and the materials are quite accessible. We'll make an amp, test it and if all goes well. In the next video I'll show you how to make your own full-on mini portable speaker. We'll make a body and inserts our dynamic. I'm sure you'll love it. Let's see what we need to make our amp. And then we'll get to work. First, we need a connector and a 9 volt battery. One dynamic, 0.5 to 1 watts and 8 ohms resistance. We also need one mini jack, one 10 ohms resistor, a switch, one LM386 microcircuit chip and one 10 volts and 220 microfarads condenser. To make it easier, I've drawn the scheme on a sheet of paper. Now I'm going to zoom in and explain you all the details. As you see, this microcircuit contains four poles at each side. There are eight poles in total. Not to turn the microcircuit upside down and solder in the wrong way, there's a semicircle on it. Such a mark. This mark should look upwards. Let's start step by step. You see that number 6 is a next to last contact on the right. We solder one wire to it. Then this wire should be linked to a switch. So we solder it to the switch. The second wire from the switch should be linked with the plus of the battery connector. The first stage is done. Let's see what we did so far. We soldered a wire from the sixth contact through the switch. Here it is. To the plus from the battery connector. Here's the connector. Now we move to the next stage. Contact number 5, which is the last on the right. To it we link the condenser. The condenser, of course, has a plus and a minus. So, how are we supposed to identify them? There's a zero on the black stripe. This is the minus. And another side is the plus. According to the scheme, we connect the plus with the last contact on the right. Here's the plus. I'm going to cut it down a bit. So, we have soldered the condenser. Let's move ahead. There is the minus left from the condenser, which we solder to the plus of the dynamic. Look for the plus. Here it is. Solder the minus of the condenser to the plus of the dynamic. Not to use condenser's legs as contacts, we are going to take a wire and lengthen them. Now, solder wire from the condenser's minus to the plus of the dynamic. Then, link the minus of the dynamic to the fourth and second poles of the microcircuit. First, to the minus of the dynamic. And solder this wire to the fourth pole on the right side of the microcircuit. 
and we solder the same wire to the second pole of the microcircuits. To do it, we are going to make a small bridge. Then, we connect our resistor to the third pole on the left side of the microcircuit. Solder the wire, which is the plus from the mini jack, to the second pole of the resistor. Take apart the mini jack. We see there's two contacts for the left and right channels. Connect them together and solder a red wire we have lengthened to the resistor. The minus of our mini jack should be soldered to the minus of the speaker. And finally, we just have to solder the minus of the battery connector to the minus of the speaker. So, we take a wire and solder it to the minus of the speaker. That's all. And it took only 5 to 10 minutes. Let's run through the steps again, not to forget anything. Number 6 goes through the switch to the plus of the battery. Here's the switch. The wire is linked to the switch and then goes to the plus of the connector. Then contact 5, which goes through the plus of the condenser. Here it is. Then there's the minus. That is connected to the plus of the dynamic. Here's the plus. The minus is linked to the fourth and second contacts. The third contact is linked through the resistor to the mini jack. Here's the resistor, which is connected to the left and right channels of our mini jack. Check. The minus from the mini jack is linked to the minus of the speaker. All right. And the last contact. The minus of the connector is linked to the minus of the speaker. Here it is. So, let's test it. Connect the battery. Insert our mini jack. Open a video. No sound. Turn on the switch. Volume up. Wow. I had to turn down the volume, because it's too loud. But the sound is very nice. I imagine how good it will sound when there will be a case. It will not just be a dynamic with an amp, but a full-on speaker. That's just awesome. So, don't forget to press thumbs up. And stay tuned for the next video, in which we will polish the build and make a body for our speaker we've been making today. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Did you know, infrasound is a type of sound that is lower than 16 Hz. It successfully spreads underwater, helping whales and other sea creatures to orient in the water depths. Even thousands of kilometers don't cause obstacles for infrasound.